So this is take one of server rack reorganization. As you can see, I have shrunk in the server rack down. Give myself more room to work. And so I can open my closet door if I ever need my, some computer parts that I got in here. Um, I am also making this nice and perfect. Making it really pretty. The way I'm doing this is I use a zip tie, not all the way down. And I'm able to drag it down while rearranging these cables and then bring it past where it's been reorganized where it's nice and perfect all the way down and then taking a zip tie putting it right behind it and zipping it down hard but not hard enough this way if I need to say straighten it it won't run into any issues this way it will hold the curve and the straightness depending on where I put it um I don't have power going right now this is one of the reasons why I have not released a video recently. Um, oh, part of the issue was getting this readjusted properly. The first time I adjusted it, the server right here stood out this far. So, I, took, I had to undo everything again, readjust, and had to move that. Had this over here. Move the plate over here, same with the back. And, yeah. I have link aggregated the um, storage server. Mainly because it, I have five 1 gigabit per second ports on here. Even though it's just a file storage server. Main reason is I have three on here that will wind up link aggregated in the end. I pulled them because I was having some issues, but now I figured it out. I can put it back together. Um, after I link aggregate this, it will have 3 gigabit per second, which will allow to access here. Remember, this is a guyless server. It is the media server for the whole house. Um, but I wanted it small and a 2U chassis. So the way it works, it uses the links with such high speed to connect these two through the switch which will allow Flex Media Server to pull files from here transcode them through here and put them out to the network remember what I said this will wind up going on the slower portion of the network throughout the house this way I can create more gigabit ports these blue ones right here and here are what go into PFSense uh, I'm going to be building a brand new PFSense box uh, for now I'm going to be Bring in the old Dell PowerEdge 1550 back into service. But uh, what I plan on doing is getting another 2U chassis again. Uh, I gave the other one I had to my brother. He needed it. Uh, came in handy. Helped him diagnose his ESXi problems. And uh, yeah. Build another 2U box. This time I'm most likely going to upgrade my gaming computer to Ryzen. And uh Put the i7 here as a PFSense server. I mean, I've got the parts. I might as well use them, you know? Heck, uh, go over here real quick. See. I see I got several CPUs just laying around. So. Um, got some in there. I've got several i3 530s laying around. All I need is a board. All, all I need is the other components, really. So, yeah. I will continue to keep you updated on this, and make sure to cut out my gut if it got in the picture. I'm not wearing a shirt right now because, oh, uh, hell, let's just say I just shut these down again after fixing some software issues, and uh, I don't have my AC on right now, so... Hopefully you all enjoy this mini update. I will be making many, many updates and then posting them together in one single video. This way you can see the artwork. Oh, and to Fiber Ninja, I really miss your posting. And it is thanks to you that I am now getting around to this. Because I've been watching your videos again and it just got me in the mood to make it look nice and perfect. Um... If you have any tips for me, can you please kindly uh, message me or something, post a video, call me out or something, and I will, I'll take any advice you have. I mean, I've been offered a top IT position job for doctor's offices here in Kentucky, uh, basically administrating networks and stuff, 
working on their computers, anything. And I'm not sure I want to take it yet because I'm afraid. I'm just afraid. I mean, I have a good job right now, so I'm most likely going to turn it down until I've got more training under my belt. And yeah, so thank you Fiber Ninja for your instructional videos. I plan on eventually getting a patch panel, but uh, I don't got the money for a patch panel or the tools to use the patch panel. So there's that. Oh, and this is my fast upload for my network, for my video files for my camera. This is SATA 3. Point, not SATA. I need to sleep. This is USB 3.1 and offloading files into Eternity Server. Eternity NAS, whatever you want to call it. I just call it Eternity because I plan on keeping everything on here forever. Um, it offloads through the ILS server onto here at about almost a gigabit per second. So I'm happy with it. If you all have any questions, post them in the comment section and I'll make a second video after this one is posted on any advice I can give you, answer your questions, whatever. One day I plan on having a live stream with a Q&A time, so I'll see y'all later. Well, as you can see, I got it set up nice, clean, very cable managed. Oh. As you can see, you can trace these cables all along the side here, down, and then they separate where they need to. Those will be for the new PF Sense system. Right now, I'm still running off the old one, which I currently have kind of buried. Um, cable managed all the way down. Have even cable. Hope you can see it. Cable managed the power uh, cables. Um, one not really cable managed. The one that goes in the back of the monitor. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to tell you what all I've done. And yes, I know I'm basically beating a dead horse, repeating all the shit I've done. This is a Roswell 25U server rack. I paid about 200 ish dollars for it. I'm not sure how much it is right now. Actually, I can probably find out. Uh, Roswell server rack Amazon as you can see it's right there it is two hundred dollars it is BBBB. It is adjustable. I'm pretty sure you've seen other videos. I had it longer. I made it shorter so I can get into my closet. Um, it's very easy to adjust. You just gotta take out C2, six bolts. If you're just adjusting one side. Otherwise, if you're going to shrink it even further, you gotta take out all 12. Um, the bolts you need to take out would be along these holes. Like one is here, one is here. There are two down there on the side and two on the other side. Um, after you take them all out, you can just push it after you got everything out of there, and it will shrink it. Um, as you can see, everything is running. Number one and number one. One one gigabit and one 100 meg. The primary blue cables will run to the new PS Sense box I'm going to build. Uh... I've got most of the hardware selected already. I've got it sitting over there. It's just a temporary PF Sense box I'm going to build. Um, after that, I'm going to save up money to build a Ryzen computer. Probably a first-gen Ryzen computer. Uh, to replace the primary components of my gaming rig. Here is the offload slot for my video footage. I've got it here, and as you can see, you can really hard to push it in, so shouldn't have any issues out of it. What I really need is some glue. I also have this right here, as you can see, hard to move. This is my KVM switch. Wait. Um, this KVM switch has three USB input ports. It's USB 2.0, not 
and it feeds out like this. So basically, it has a USB hub, and that's why it's able to connect easily. It's basically a pass through to the USB ports in the computers. Um, like I said, this is four port. Let's see how much I paid for it. I geek four port. KVM. In many ways, it's almost like... I can see, it's right there. I'm experiencing survival... How do I say? A little more... Realistic. Should be that one. Because yep, so 25 bucks. Comes with all the cables you need. Uh, warranty and tech support, yada yada. Three day, 30 days, free return, 12 month money back warranty, lifetime tech support. Um, ignore the Java update. I also bought a stupidly long cable, USB 3.0, 3.1 extension cable. And it is plugged into a add-on card for this board. This is where I store all the YouTube footage. This is where I work on it. The actual editing is done on my gaming rig, because that's where I got my Tempukatai SC. And I'm currently going to continue updating different results on using different video editors. Now to finish... Well, I'm done with this. Um, not sure if you can see it, though. Uh, here you can see it. I have number in my bays. And if you look down here, this way, if I go to take them out for maintenance, I don't forget what they are. And I did it in black so that... It wouldn't look that bad. Um, barely noticeable unless you're actually looking for it. I plan on getting a few hot swap bays here. Um, they will be for 2.5 yada yada drives. This way I can put all my SATA, my SSDs in these bays. I plan on making this a fast RAID array right here. Uh, probably RAID 10. Um, this way I can offload my video footage, edit, streaming, and all that really, really fast. Oh, yeah. <sighs> then we have the transcoding server for the Flex Media. This way I can burn home movies, burn homemade music CDs, rip them if I ever need to back something up. And I better stop that or I won't stop. Um, I put my own stickers on everything. You can't see it on this one or this one because they're currently in there. Um, yeah. It took me, let's see, what time is it? Oh, hell, it took me eight hours to do all this. Um, damn. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the server rack. Tell me what you want to see me toss in here, and I'll see about trying to toss something together. I will do videos on the tossing together. Um, oh, this is a lot of work. I eventually need to re-pull out the gigabit switch because it's dusty in there again. If anyone knows of quieter fans, I can put in a HP Pro Curve J4903A network switch. Let me know. I don't care if I gotta modify a port, I don't care if I, what I gotta do as long as they work and they keep it cool. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'm going to upload it uh, for the next few minutes, and then I gotta finish cleaning up the rest of my room. I'll see y'all.